for this room, the photomontage room. Uh, it has um, three works that took me uh, five to six years to, to finish. And this work, for example, right here, this, this work uh, is a it took me a very long time to do and it was very difficult to accomplish. It is made up of, it's basically uh, showing the internet. It's called the World Web Inferno and it's made up of thread, images of real thread, which I have to take off uh, the spool, many of them, and create a web for that large monstrous spider in the corner um, and that's the technological spider that's waiting in the corner to swallow up uh, the victims that are struggling to get out of the web and these are all all the models that I took photographs of and they are all wrapped up in a special web blanket, which I made up from the same kind of thread. And these basically are the windows, like the windows of the internet. And this is the way I see uh, the future with the threat of technology. Um, we have, uh, there is another photomontage here. This is called the Human Collectibles Viewed by Clobot, 31st century. And here we have um, a huge art exhibit in the future, 1,000 years from now, where our humans become collectibles and they are being viewed by robots. These are the future generations of humans that turned into a combination of clones and robots. We have security guards watching, uh, watching everyone, uh, guarding the human collectibles. They are, uh, their souls are alive, but they are basically uh, no longer, they are physically not alive, but their souls are still alive. There are bits of photographs that are put together to express this whole theme. And here is another photo montage, which is called the Art Market. And this is uh, reflecting the struggle of humanity. All these humans are climbing the wall, trying to achieve immortality, and they will of course never be able to get to the gates of heaven because the fish are below, ready to uh, devour them. Uh, so their fate is sealed. And these people are uh, I, are models that I found everywhere from all walks of life and each one has their own individual story. The fish were photographed in a Hasidic Jewish market and um, the red fish right here were photographed in a Chinese fish market. Um, the wall is from a church and the uh, waves the water waves were taken at the beach, Brighton Beach in Brooklyn. Here are some more photographs, black and white artistic photographs.
here is a large sculpture robot right here, which is called cover letter, and this is uh, meant to uh, show the works of artists who never have a chance to show their works in museums and prestigious galleries. And I meant it as a gift to, to them so that they would be able to um, show their slides, slides of their work, and also show themselves. Their faces are supposed to be featured on the TV screen. Um, and this way the public has a chance to get acquainted with the artist who created the work of art. a little school at the same time. It serves um, uh, the function of an art school and I am teaching young children uh, once a week and we, I teach them how to draw um, with special drawing techniques and we have different things that we draw from up there from that little table. Uh, we also put on music Um, and they love to listen to it because this is basically a house is meant to be a house of art and music. photographs of myself from age 4 all the way to 44 and these are my initials MB and this reflects the mystery of time and the aging process These are aluminum daggers and this is a wooden, a wooden clock and if you point the flashlight to the middle, right here, there is a mysterious clock mechanism embedded in there. It's all black on black to make it more mysterious. 